And then last question on NATO. Um, on Wednesday night, there is the leader level dinner that is being hosted by the president and the first lady. It starts at 6 p.m. Over the weekend, President Biden told governors who gathered that he's not going to go to any events after 8 p.m., try and get some rest given um, some of his challenges with his age. So is there a plan for the Secretary of State to stay if that event goes on longer past 8 p.m., or will the president uh, stay on past 8 p.m.? So I won't speak to the president's schedule. I'll let the White House do that. But I would say with respect to his schedule, I think this NATO summit will look a lot like previous NATO summits where the president and other members of our government, the Secretary of State, but also the Secretary of Defense and other uh, leaders in the government will have a full schedule of events starting in the morning and going through the evening. That includes bilateral meetings, includes multilateral meetings. Uh, the Secretary will participate in those. With respect to any one event, um, uh, several days from now, I'm not, I can't tell you um, uh, what his participation will be at that dinner, and when it comes to the President, uh, certainly the White House can speak to that. Well, to be fair, at the Vilnius Summit, it was the Secretary who went to that dinner instead of the President. Right, but with this one, um, uh, I'm going to let the White House speak to what the President's next schedule is. Sure. I just don't know. Yeah.